36 years, the CFL's Grey Cup has been much more than a championship game. To the players and fans, it is a national treasure. The long tradition of Canadian Football League has been that it's a lot of fun to play in, but the biggest thing is that it's Canadian. For me, it's real special to, uh, to be in, in the CFL and real special to be in the Grey Cup. You know that there's going to be millions and millions watching on TV come the Grey Cup. It's, it, it's part of our heritage. It's something we live for. In Winnipeg, Manitoba, in a showdown of the league's top teams, the Hamilton Tiger Cats and Calgary Stampeders played a game for the ages. This is Bob Irving with Canadian Football Hall of Famer Russ Jackson. We are at Winnipeg Stadium and we are just about set for the kickoff. Mesdames et messieurs, bonjour et bienvenue au Stadium de Winnipeg. C'est la Coupe Grey 1998. So there's going to be two really powerful sets of emotions today. One, the team that wants to prove that it is a winner. The other one that wants to go all the way in a Cinderella year. So it's going to make for a great game. Taking it home, Great Cup going back to Calgary. We got to fulfill that destiny, baby. It's our turn. As the sun set on Winnipeg Stadium, the game began with a hard-nosed football that has become the CFL's trademark. I'm jacking his ass up. Take your weekend. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Early in the second quarter, the Stampeders' top-rated offense was the first to find the end zone. Hands to Anderson, left side, touchdown, Calgary! Good job, guys, good job, good job! And this Grey Cup game is underway! Minutes later, the Hamilton Tiger Cats veteran quarterback, Danny McManus, struck back. Calgary shows blitz, here they come, McManus throws, Williams wide open! Trailing 16 to 10 at halftime, Calgary started a third quarter comeback. Garcia looks for Danielson, great grab at the 30 yard line. But another outstanding catch by a Calgary slot back. This Jeff Garcia touchdown set the stage for an historic Grey Cup finish. Stampeders are two points behind and a convert will put them within a point of Hamilton. Late in the fourth quarter, Archie Amerson swept like a Chinook through the Calgary secondary. And McManus looks and finds Amerson at the 40, the 35, Archie Amerson to the 30. His spectacular catch and run set up the go-ahead touchdown with two minutes left to play. 15 to 10 to 5, no he's knocked out at the one yard line. Hands it off to Williams again, touchdown Hamilton, they take the lead. But Calgary's ride to glory had come too far to be stopped now. With Garcia in the saddle, the Stampeders blazed into Hamilton territory. Trailing by one with seconds remaining, Calgary had one last chance at glory. This is the last play of the game. 35-yard field goal try. The ball is down, it's up, and it's good! Mark McLaughlin has kicked a 35-yard field goal on the last play of the game, and the Calgary Stampeders have won the Grey Cup. With a mixture of hard work and high drama, the Calgary Stampeders and Hamilton Tiger Cats turned 60 minutes of Sunday football into a championship game that will be remembered forever.
Right there. That hurts, and uh, just because it was so close, I give credit for Calgary to uh, for the team that they are. But uh, we felt that we could have uh, done some things different, and uh, we have the opportunity this year to make up for it. And that's what the great thing about it. We want to come out of the East, obviously, and and go to Vancouver and finish what we left off last year. We know what we have to do, and they know what they have to do. It's a matter now of getting them to, to square one at Ground Zero and start from there. Returning for the Tiger Cats, and this is going to be a big one. There's one guy to beat, and Amerson gets down to the one-yard line. LaPointe will get his first CFL touchdown right here. Ah, that's great to see. Eric LaPointe, 35 yards for six. Tiger Cats at the Alouette 14. McManus pumps one way, looks to the end zone. Has the touchdown, fittingly, Trevor Shaw. He deserves it. Ball spotted, the kick's far enough, but it is wide to the left. And the Tie Cats down by 10, running around. Corey Grant, is he thinking about taking it out? He is, and he is getting it out. Corey Grant is still going. Giancola, the only man who can catch him, and he doesn't. Corey Grant. No flags either. No God. flags. Touchdown, Hamilton. <laughs> Parker out of shotgun, looking to his right. Pumps. Nowhere to go, except down as he tries to throw it away as Joe Montford wrapped him up. Parker steps in, gets hit again. Joe Hagan. The linebacker coming in, buries Barker, and the Argos are moving backwards. So it's second and long, pressure down! Ball comes loose. Joe Montford in there again. McManus pumps once, looks to the corner. Andrew Gray, he's got the touchdown! That was brilliant! Oh my goodness, that is unbelievable. Tycats just shy of the field. Seven yards, touchdown, Tigers. First down, Argos across the middle. It's picked off. Gerald Boyd's got the ball. The only man back is Camp. He'll be gone. Touchdown, Tiger Cats. McManus throwing deep. Rig is open, he's got the ball at the 20, great move across the 10, to the 5, and hold down just shy of the goal line. Belleville looking for Ty Davis, and oh boy, Rob Hitchcock unloaded. Well that was a great hit, I tell you, Ty Davis is not sure if he's in Iverman Stadium anymore. Mattis underneath, open, big catch, Darren Flutie stretched out. Second and five. Hitch. Everson, big hole. Archie Everson on the run. They may not catch him. Lester Smith won't. Touchdown, Archie Everson. Here's Flutie. There's the touchdown. Hamilton Tiger Cats take a 6-0 lead as Flutie broke in behind the Stampeder secondary. Off the shotgun snap, it's Bob and the Tiger Cats have it. Joe Montford, touchdown. Oh, that's devastating. First play of the game, have a mishap like that. Joe Montford capitalizing on Aaron Snap. Backfield clear, out of the shotgun, Dickinson running around. Has a man who is hit hard. That man is Alan Pitts, and he hung on to the football. He took a licking. The crowd really getting stirred up now on second down and seven. Lamar McGregs with big time pressure on McCoy and buries it. McManus airs it out, and William Hampton had a beat on him, but he gets beat by Andrew Gregg. Well, Hampton waited for it. Gregg got in front, takes it down to the 15. Here come the Tiger Cats. The 
It's on the ground. The Argos get back on it, but the punt is blocked by Gerald Vaughn, I believe. And the first big play of the game goes Hamilton's way. Here's a pass, Averson, touchdown! Tie cat receivers awaiting this at their 40. Block! Gerald Vaughn's got another! Argos on it, but it's Hamilton football at the two. Wide side throw, picked off, and Crater, goodbye! Well, Chris, that should be the football game. Third and less than a yard, and McManus will pass deep to Joe Higgins. He's got it! What a catch by Higgins! A big first down at the 11-yard line. What a gamble. Oh, what a gamble by Ron Lancaster. Three-man backfield. McManus, hands off, right side, touchdown. Ronald Williams puts the Tiger Cats in the lead. Ham with one last gasp, last play of the game. It's a Hail Mary deep down the far sideline. And it's no good. The Tiger Cats win the Eastern Final for the second year in a row. The Cats going back, hoping to avenge their loss in the Grey Cup one year ago against the Calgary Stampeders. This is the last play of the game. 35-yard field goal try. The ball is down, it's up, and it's good! Mark McLaughlin has kicked the 35-yard field goal on the last play of the game, and the Calgary Stampeders have won the Grey Cup. A year after their epic struggle in Winnipeg, the Calgary Stampeders and Hamilton Tiger Cats were back in the Grey Cup with something to prove in Vancouver. I think we have some unfinished business we have to get back at Calgary for. Our attitude this year, starting at training camp, was to make up for what we did not accomplish last year. To win one championship, you're looked at as a good team. But to put two together, people will remember you in CFL history as one of the better teams to ever play. After a weekend of festivities and flag football, they got their shot at immortality. Good afternoon from BC Place Stadium in Vancouver, the 1999 Grey Cup game on the day every CFL season is all about. Mesdames et messieurs, bonjour et bienvenue à BC Place à Vancouver. C'est le match de la Coupe Grey entre les Stampeders de Calgary et les Tiger Cats de Hamilton. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Canada. Big game. Get awfully nervous. Game yeah, ready for us, baby. Game yeah, ready for us. I heard about bling bling. It's on. Let's go, baby. Light them up. Light them up. The 87th Grey Cup began with a slugfest. Ooh, what a big hit! Both teams traded haymakers, but Hamilton's offense refused to be intimidated. Puts his head down, pushes forward, gets to the 38 in a sea of white sweaters. Blue the sticks! The tack yes, boy! We came here on a mission! The mission was simple. Establish the run. The snap of the ball, Williams, touchdown! And let Danny McManus air it out to Darren Flutie. Hit with the backside as he let it go, and it goes complete to Flutie at the 42. He bounces at the 40-yard line. Flutie swept through the Calgary secondary with the fury of a Saskatchewan prairie fire. Oh, McManus to throw, floats it into the end zone. One hand! Flutie's catch gave Hamilton a 21-0 half-time lead and left the Stampeders in shambles. Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Pick it up. But old champions never die easy, and Cowtown quarterback Dave Dickinson unleashed a stampede. to work, pulls his arm down, now uploads, goes long downfield, Travis Moore, open, grabs it, 20, 15, 10, they take him down at the six-yard line. Three 
receivers left, three to the right, Nickerson scrambles left, throws, goes complete, Danielson, touchdown! And like that, Calgary's back in the football game. In a single drive, the decade's winningest team had recaptured their magic. We got the momentum back now. Let's run with it, let's run with it. A victory that once seemed certain now receded through Hamilton's grasp with the cruel speed of the North Atlantic tide. Moments later, Dickinson fired his second strike in six minutes. It's wide open, touchdown! But Hamilton's most difficult trial only set the stage for their finest hour. McManus looks to his right side, floats it up into the end zone, Flutie, touchdown! Sets up the throw, pulls the ball down, has to eat it, and he's driven into the turf. Here you go, baby. We can send a fat lady go get some Wendy's. They had risen from the ashes of their most bitter defeat to claim Canadian football's greatest prize. It was a victory for the Hamilton Tiger Cats and a triumph for the Canadian spirit. It's such a big part of our heritage and our history. It's something that you can't ever replace. I look at that great cup and it's dented and scratched and beat up. And to lift that thing up and uh, call it your own even for a year is, uh, is something really special.